morning guys happy saturday i just finished up eating brushing my hair getting dressed got me some coffee as usual like why would i not have coffee coffee is life but i'm fixing to do my makeup um yeah my vanity's really dirty but exciting news today i am burning my candle that i got for christmas it's dragon fruit from yankee candle smells so good this is my first time burning it because um, I keep forgetting the past few days, and yesterday I was rushed, and so I wasn't thinking. But yeah, so I'm fixing to do my makeup. Um, that's pretty much all that's happening. I'm wearing another one of my new shirts I got for Christmas, and I'm in love with it. And today I'm also going to be using, um, the same primer that I used yesterday, the Stay Floss from Benefit. This is amazing primer, and I've only used it once. But yes, makeup time, and then I'm going to run a few errands with Mom in China. And my makeup is now done, I swear, these days. Uh, you can tell, like, the biggest difference when I'm wearing makeup and when I'm not. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I contour my face and wear blush every day. But I look so different. Like, with and without my makeup, I can't, I can't handle it. It's so weird. Alright, so today for my eye makeup, it's making everything look really gold toned. I don't know what it is with the camera doing that all the time. What are you doing, Cooper? But, um, yesterday for my eye makeup, I used completely the a few of my, a few of my favorite things. I, don't, I hate saying that because it's like the longest name ever, but today I used completely the Naked 3 palette, but then I used the Too Faced mascara because I'm still playing around with both palettes. Um, It came out really pretty in pink tone because this is a pink palette, but by using like a gold color over top of a pink color, it made it look more gold toned. I'm not going to tell you guys the whole routine that I did, but I am going to call out the colors that I used. Um, I used Buzz, Trick, Liar a tiny bit of factory because it was like a last minute decision so I didn't use much of it and then um, strange um, and nooner and then my inner corner color is from a few of my favorite things because I feel like this palette doesn't really have a good inner corner color unless you use strange um, so yeah love this palette the packaging is so cute I hope people are like bashing the packaging because it's too similar to the Naked 2 I think and love it I think it's beautiful but um my candle smells so good this morning it literally smells up like my whole room alright so I just put on my lip product and today for lipstick I'm wearing Speed Dial by MAC which is a cream sheen finish it's a beautiful bright pink color I love it I haven't worn it in a long time and then for lipstick over top, I'm wearing the NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys have heard or not, but I follow so many beauty accounts on Instagram, so I find out about a bunch of drugstore makeup and junk before it even, like, comes out. Um, and in January, I think it is, they are coming out with 10 new Butter Gloss shades. And I am so excited for them to come out because Butter Glosses are, like, my favorite lip gloss ever. So, it's going to be great. Out. My outfit is more casual, and it's actually not that casual. It's just, it's more casual than most of my outfits because I wear leggings pretty much every day. I haven't worn jeans in, like, almost two weeks. And so, to me, leggings look really dressy, although they're really casual. But I just feel more done up wearing leggings, so when I wear jeans, I call it more casual. I don't know. I'm weird. But I'm wearing my jeans from Belk that I always wear. They have two little rips in them. In fact, today when I go shopping, I'm going to look for new jeans because I need jeans so badly. I'm wearing this long sleeve black shirt from Delia's. You guys can go watch my Christmas haul to see this. And the back of the top of it has, like, lace. I don't know if I can get it to show up. But the back of it, at the very top, is lace. And, yeah, I just have a black cami on underneath it from JCPenney. And then my shoes are snakeskin Lido's from Roxy. My bag is from Roxy. My wa wallet is from Roxy. And I think that's it. I'm not wearing any jewelry but my second hole. Um, yeah. I'm here at Belk right now. We're actually fixing to leave, but we had to swap some boots that Mom got us for Christmas. Not the Uggs, but like a different pair. They kind of look like cowgirl slash riding boots, but they didn't fit well at all, so we traded them for a different pair of boots, which I will show you guys later. And also, I got a new Columbia jacket because mine is actually a like a boy's because the girls' ones, when I bought it, didn't come in black. And so t they were on sale half off today for $29 because they're originally $60. So I was so excited because I now have a gray one. So excited I found some new jeans. Jeans at JCPenney. They're soft and they're comfy. Score. Alright, lunch today. I'm using my swaggerific <laughs> Rugrats plate. Don't hate on me. And I'm eating half because I didn't want a whole one of a meatball sub. Mom made meatballs last night for dinner. Mom's homemade meatballs are so good. 
Like she rolls them, like simmers them in some sauce. Her homemade meatballs are amazing. And then I added a little bit of the sauce into it because you could take the sauce off if you like rolled it around on your plate. But I like the meatball sauce that she bakes it in so I kept some of the sauce. Then layer of ketchup, some mozzarella cheese, and then these amazing sub rolls um, that we always buy for our meatball subs. But yeah, I'm so starving because I'm eating a late lunch today. But this meatball sub is going to hit this spot and I'm editing my vlog. So I can get it up, and it's super duper short today. It's like almost eight minutes long for two days worth. Just because I didn't do much the past two days, and I didn't vlog much. I've just been really tired lately. But yeah, longer vlogs to come. I am hopping onto Ulta's website right now because I don't, I don't think I ever told you guys this on either of my channels, but um, with the Real Beauty Blender and the Knock Off Beauty Blender, if I use it all over my face for foundation, I get this really gross, not oily feeling but like just a weird feeling like right here like where my pores are and I won't feel oily but I'll look oily and I just get the weirdest feeling but it's only if I like use it all over my face uh, for foundation not like concealer but just like the foundation um and I think it's because of the water being in the sponge because you are supposed to wet them um but that primer that I mentioned earlier this morning from Benefit oh my god gosh that primer is amazing it's the, it's the sort of new primer that everyone's been raving about but it is so amazing i used it yesterday and i used it today and my face isn't looking oily like my face doesn't look oily in general with the foundation that i use and with also with my nyx primer that i love so much but it doesn't like with the beauty blender and my NYX primer, I still get that feeling here from the Beauty Blender and Knock Off Beauty Blenders as well. But by using that Benefit primer, I don't get that feeling. I don't get that look. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this primer. Because, like, the sample's tiny. So I'm trying to figure out how much that primer is. Uh, and I'm thinking about buying it next time I get a 20% off coupon. Holy cow, I just found it on the Ultra website. It's $32. Holy cow, I thought it was like $20. All these YouTubers that I watch love that primer so much. How do they just drop $32 on a primer? Like, literally everybody owns that primer. And I'm like, dude, that's expensive. How do you spend that much just on a primer? And they're like, oh, I love this primer. I love it too, but I can't spend $32. So I'm fixing to calculate 30, $32 times 0 .2. 20% off, you can get it for $25. That's not awful. But dang, $32 for a primer? That's insane. But on the bright side, I tracked my tablet today, and it's going to be here on the 31st. I'm so excited. It was going to be here before the 6th. Then it was going to be here on the 2nd. Now it's coming the 31st. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I've been needing a new jacket for ages because I keep borrowing Chinas. And my jacket is like two or three years old, and it's actually a boys' Columbia jacket. And I was so excited today when we went to Belk because all their women's Columbia long, like long sleeve jackets, not the vest, were on sale for twenty nine ninety five, and they're sixty dollars originally because they're really nice jackets, so they make them expensive. But they were like practically half off for twenty nine ninety five, and I was so excited because mine's been looking really ratty on me lately, and I don't like it that much anymore. And okay, thank you and it's like a boy's jacket so I have this new one today $29.95 I'm so excited the tag says 60 bucks originally but I got the gray one they didn't have a black one so I'm fine with gray it has the collar of course and oh my gosh it's so soft and it actually looks super nice on so I'm so excited for this and here's my new jacket it's just like so soft and warm and I don't know I love it love it <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh! <laughs> the sky is actually super pretty out today. It's like periwinkle blue, dark blue, yellow. <laughs>
<laughs> He's straight getting it right now. Hey, Matt, come out. Good morning, everybody. It's a little after 11 a.m. Today I'm getting ready in my parents' um, bathroom because Dad put in new lights. But Dad put in new lights back here, and they're super good and bright. And so I just decided to get, back, back, get ready back here today, especially seeing how it's been pouring down rain all morning, and it's so dark outside, and like, I'll just get ready back here. So I brought some makeup stuff, and I'm just going to get ready back here today. And I'm watching High School Musical while I get ready, because it's on this morning. Oh boy. I don't know if you guys can even tell, but you can like literally hear the rain pounding down inside my house. The whole pond is like being pelted to death. There's just so much rain. It's literally like hardcore pouring right now. And it's so scary. Like, it's been raining for the night, since last night. It's just like pouring. So I'm just going to have my makeup fun. And yeah, all I've gotten done is my foundation. But I don't know how I'm going to do my eyes today. Of course, I'm going to use my new palette still. But I just don't know which one. I'm either going to do a colorful eye with my Too Faced one or a bronze eye with my Naked 3. I'm almost done with my makeup, and I used all the Naked 3 palette again today, and what I love about that palette, ooh, my hair, is that, like, you can create such a pretty, like, pink eye makeup look, like, really pink and really flirty looking, but also, my personal comfort zone is a gold eye makeup look, like I created today. That palette can easily turn into a gold look, because, true, most of the colors are, um, pink tones, but if you use, like, this last half of the palette, like... Um, for example, today I used Trick, Liar, Factory, Nooner, and then Strange. You can create such a pretty gold eye makeup look. Like, this doesn't at all look like pink eyeshadow because I wasn't using the pink tones. So you can either make a really pretty gold eye or a really pretty pink eye. And it's just really cool and versatile. Like, I love it. And now I have all my mascara on, and I really like the whole completed eye makeup look. I think it's super pretty, and I, I just wanted to create a gold eye today, but I wanted to try to use that palette, and it turned out so nice. I just, I really like the way it turned out, and yeah. And now my whole entire makeup is done. I'm packing up my makeup, and then I'm just going to go hang out. I actually want to eat some lunch, because I'm getting really hungry. Right, Caitlin just left. She came over this afternoon to hang out for a little bit because she moved. Um, she used to live next door. Now she lives in a different house in her neighborhood. It's a long story, but yeah, so she moved. So we hung out today, and now I'm fixing to clean my room because my vanity is a disaster. I used to have my Christmas stuff out because I leave it out for like a few days after Christmas. My bed's a mess. So I'm just going to clean up my room. Just been chilling here today. We watched Just Big Cool Me 2 again. Um, just a really chill day. It finally stopped raining, so sunshine. I'm burning my new candle and it smells so good. Hello, little Rosie. Today, Rosie has been hanging out behind the Christmas tree. We wanted her to be in some sunshine instead of like in the shade in the living room. So earlier this morning, I moved her behind the Christmas tree so she could hang out with the sun on her, although the sun's like almost gone down now because it's like later in the evening. Cooper, don't mess with her. And yeah, she's just been enjoying the Christmas tree view. So yes, we are fixing to change her cage because it is a disaster and I'm also going to feed her some dinner. Aren't we, baby girl? Mr. Mischievous, stop. You always try to get in the way. So I'm here lately in the, like, evening times. Ever since, like, day before yesterday, like, I don't know, since, like, maybe the 26th or 27th, no. Since, like, the 27th, so for, like, three nights now, I've been so bored every night. Normally, I get so excited to have a night to just sit around and do nothing, but all of a sudden, I'm just, like, ugh, so bored. I think it's because, like, Christmas break is just, like, so long, and I'm, like, I have fun during the day, and then at night, I sit around and do nothing. Sometimes, like, when I don't have plans, and I just get, like, so bored. So, I've been, like, super bored here for the past few nights, like, sitting around, so bored, like, what should I do? So I'm literally like so bored right now that I'm going to get a head start editing the vlog um, so it can be uploaded tomorrow while I'm at the dentist because tomorrow I go to get one of my baby teeth pulled. It's about time because like the grown up tooth is coming through the skin and 
yeah, it's about time to get it pulled. So I was like, fine, I'll get ahead start on editing it because I'm so bored. And guess what? So I've been tracking my package for my tablet because I'm just, I'm so beyond excited to get my tablet. Like, you guys have no idea. Um, and it's coming through FedEx. And FedEx has not updated and tracked my package since yesterday morning. The last place it said was that it was leaving Tennessee at 6.30 a.m. yesterday. And it hasn't updated yet. So apparently it's been, like, on the road. But, like, my mom says obviously it's made it somewhere because it can't still be traveling the next day at 9.30 p.m. That's over 24 hours of not even arriving anywhere because it does the departure and then it arrives. Then it departures. Then it arrives, like, leaving and arriving places. And so, obviously, it's arrived somewhere. We just don't know where because they haven't updated um, the website. Um, so, it's really exciting because it could get here tomorrow. Like, it could seriously get here tomorrow. But I won't know until I can track it. So, I'm hoping tomorrow they'll update the site. Um, but we'll have to see tomorrow. Um, so, it could easily get here tomorrow. But if not, it will definitely be here the 31st. Because it says um, estimated arrival December 31st, which is the day after tomorrow. But... I think it might hopefully come tomorrow. I'm so excited. So I'm going to track it in the morning and I'll let you guys know like what it says or if it even says anything. But oh my gosh, it, it needs to hurry up and get here. I've been eating some white chocolate while I've been back here messing. I've ate three of them out of my stocking. This is the um, Hershey's Bliss white chocolate. It's really good. It's really smooth. I really like that white chocolate. But however, my favorite white chocolate is the Lint. Um, chocolate, like the L-I-N-D-T chocolate. It's like in the little balls and it comes in like a bag. That is the best white chocolate ever. Oh my gosh. I just finished editing and I decided to hop on over to YouTube because I was kind of bored and I wanted to check on like how my vlog channel's doing. And I was like, I wonder how many subscribers I have. I just noticed that my vlog channel has 492 subscribers. Oh my goodness, you guys. That's crazy. Like, I feel like ever since I started daily vlogging, like, my old vlogs used to get way more views. Um, but I've gained more subscribers ever since I started daily vlogging. And I love it. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, for commenting on my vlogs, for giving my vlogs thumbs up. It really means a lot. Please comment down below and thumbs up this video if you guys like me doing daily vlogs. Because I love knowing if you guys have been enjoying them or what your preference is. But thank you guys so much for all the great feedback so far on my daily vlogs.